Hey guys, Phil here, and this is a review of the Free Gene LED Bluetooth Dream Speaker. You'll get the speaker, a 3.5mm male to male audio cable, and micro USB cable that are both 3.5 feet long, and an instruction manual. The manual says that this comes with a fabric carrying bag, but I think this is a misprint. The speaker is 9.25 inches tall and has a 2.5 inch diameter. The top and base have a soft touch matte silicone feel, and the body is wrapped in a square stamped metal speaker grill. The controls and inputs are in the base. To charge the device, use the included micro USB cable in the port here. The speaker supports wireless playback via Bluetooth connectivity, but you can use the included audio cable to output from a standard headphone port to the auxiliary in port on the speaker if you have a device that doesn't have Bluetooth capabilities. You can also load music to a micro SD card and insert it into the TF card slot here. The instructions are limited, so I'll go over the functions here. This is the on switch. When you turn it on, it will light up and say, Bluetooth mode has been on. You cannot change the volume of the welcome message. Also, note that there is an automatic sleep timer that will shut the unit off if nothing is playing for a while, so you don't have to remember to shut the unit off using the power switch when you're done. The battery life is about 8 hours at full volume with the lights running on a full charge. In your Bluetooth devices menu, select the one called Colorful. Once paired, you can stream music to the speakers wirelessly. Paired. Pressing and holding the play pause button will disconnect from the currently paired device. If you receive an incoming phone call when paired with a phone, you can answer it on the speaker by pressing the play pause button. You can adjust the volume directly on the speakers using the plus or minus buttons. There are 8 steps in the volume control, and when you reach the min or max volumes, you will hear this tone. The volume of this tone is not adjustable, and it is always annoyingly loud. You can also change the volume from the transmitting device. When you insert a card into the TF card slot, the speaker will switch to TF mode automatically. Now is TF mode. The speaker can recognize the following file formats, MP3, WAV, APE, FLAC, and WMA. Similarly, when you insert an audio cable, it will switch to aux in mode. Now is aux in mode. To switch between the three modes, press the M button. In all modes, pressing the next button will advance to the next track in the playlist. Pressing the back button once will restart the song, and pressing it twice will play the previous track in the playlist. There are six different light shows. This is an alternating upward and downward scrolling of rainbow colors. You can see here that there's a weird dark band of missing color. The default is an EQ mode of colored bars that pulse and follow the music. The next is a solid cylinder that also follows the music and cycles through a number of color schemes. This one is an upward scroller of cylinders of color. Then there's a kaleidoscope mode, and the last is off, or music with no lights. The sound on the speaker is very clear, clean, and enjoyable. Because the sound is nearly 360, you can hear it well from any direction. It has good mid and high ranges, and some, but not deep, bass. It can also get loud and fill a space well without blowing out the sound, and it's fun for parties and outdoor gatherings. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.